morning, beautiful people. How are you doing? Um, welcome back to another vlog. Forgive the lighting. I'm in the gym at my apartment, but I wanted to hop on here this morning, say good morning, see how you guys are doing. Hope you guys are doing well and blessed. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be talking to you guys about how I dealt with my depression and anxiety over the last several months and I wanted to share that with you but part of that journey is right here in the gym so I'm going to get my workout in and as I'm doing my workout I just want to kind of give you guys some tips some things that I I did some things that helped me work through everything that I was going through and I hope that it helps you so yeah and I'm out of breath because I left my watch at my apartment so I had to run back up there, run up the stairs here, run up the stairs at my house, run downstairs, run downstairs back and pick up the camera. So forgive me for being out of breath. But for those that are new, hello, my name is Janine Michelle. Welcome to another vlog. I'm so happy to have you guys here. And for those that have been following me, that have been supportive, I love you. Thank you guys so much. So let's get this workout in. Today is a lower body session. We're going to be doing some other things today. So let's start with this warm up. Let's go. So I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys one of the things that really got me through my season, my season of depression and anxiety, and that was my faith. Trusting God in the season, in the storm. And you know, one of the things that I wish I would have known earlier in that process of being depressed and dealing with high anxiety is it, something that was taught to me recently within church was that you may be in a storm, but the storm isn't in you. What's in you is different. Everything else that's happening is exterior. It's on the outside of you. And those things you may not be able to control. You may not have any say so in it, but everything within you, you have it. So you can control your thoughts you can control your feelings, your emotions. You can deal with what's inside of you. And instead of focusing on the storm on the outside, deal with the joy, the gratitude, the gratefulness, all the things that you can hold on to. And for me, that was my gratitude. You know, no matter what, during that season of depression and anxiety, I had a roof over my head. I maintained my job, even though I wasn't feeling just I wasn't feeling great about myself. I wasn't feeling great about the way that I was handling things. And, you know, that was so important. And then during that season, I reconnected with the church. For me, that was important. I had been out of church for a while. Those that may know my story, I used to be married. Um, unfortunately, the, we, had, we got a divorce. And I kind of left my church because 
you know, he went there. I wanted to, I, it's like I wanted to give him that opportunity to find himself and do everything. And so I left. And during that time, I was visiting other churches, but there was just nothing calling to me, you know. And then I found Unity and Bishop Withers and the team, the staff, the community there embraced me and loved me. And it was funny because last weekend was a weekend where I felt so loved by them. It was, and I needed that. I needed it that day. I needed the hugs and the, it felt like maybe because I, I am consistent with going to church these days because I wasn't consistent before. <laughs> and they're seeing me, they know who I am. And the love that I received, it just made me feel good. So during this season, I journaled, I talked to God, I prayed, I worked on finding different devotionals that can just walk me through the process. And I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. It was times where I felt like God was not listening. He wasn't there, even though I know he was. That was, once again, that internal talk making me think that what I needed wasn't there, but God was always there because he always protected me. He always guided me. He gave me what I needed every single time I needed it. And it came from unexpected places, unexpected blessings that just rained upon me during my darkest hours. And I am so grateful for that. So for me, one of those main things that just got me through that time definitely was my faith and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and so thankful that I, I connected on a deeper level with God. And I'm so grateful that his son Jesus died for me. And I know he died for all of us, but I know he died for me. And that made all the difference. So let's get back to this workout. <laughs> people so I kind of alluded to this earlier in regards to some of the things that have helped me out during the time when I was dealing with depression and anxiety and that is working out um, believe me it was days where it was really really hard to work out it is days that I started a workout and didn't finish it because I wasn't feeling it but there were days where I pushed through and I felt so much better and as i pushed through more as i as i kind of like made myself force myself to get through a workout i just noticed that like i felt lifted i felt higher i felt uh weightless you know i didn't feel like the weight of everything was just pressing down on my chest like i would work out and i would be able to walk away with whether it was clarity or just feeling better overall and so it was a blessing to be able to work out it is a blessing to have equipment inside my house that i can just walk over to and get a workout in it's a blessing to be able to have this gym that's you know that is a part of my apartment complex that i can come and work out in because it was times where i needed to walk away from my space because you know sometimes for me, I isolate myself and I isolate myself in my bedroom. And it was very easy for me to be in there and just in my thoughts, in my feelings. And so to be able to walk away and come to some place like this where I could also see other people working out, I could be encouraged, I can be motivated, I can just feel that energy from someone else, it helped a lot. But just working out overall, it just really helped to take away a lot of those pressures and those feelings that I had. And even doing something as simple as going for a walk, that helped tremendously. Focusing on my body, doing yoga, that helped tremendously. But then I love, I love throwing some weight around. And when I'm irritated, when I'm stressed, when I'm mad or whatever, lifting something heavy and pushing through to get that last rep in, it just makes you feel stronger. It makes you feel like you can overcome those things that are holding you back. So my faith and working out are two things that 
I can absolutely say have been tremendous for me during this process. So let's finish getting our workout in and let's go. beautiful people so another um, tip that I want to give you guys during that time is I have an amazing prayer circle I have sisters friends girlfriends I don't have any sisters but I call them my sisters but I have this amazing sister circle that prayed for me that pulled me out of the darkest of times that forced me to kind of get out of my house, get out of my thoughts, and covered me, protected me, loved on me when I needed it the most. So if you have someone around you that you are close to, that you can depend on, that you can call on in your moment of need, that can pray for you, that can love on you, that can pour into you, keep those people around you during that time. That was so, so important to me, to know that I could Go to our group trap and group trap, okay? Our group chat and say, hey you guys, today is not a good day. I need prayer. I need a moment. I mean, we are so close that we will, in the middle of a work day, we will all hop on a call and do a prayer. Like to have women in my life that are like that, it means the world to me because in my darkest times, I'm not gonna lie, they were there. They helped me so much. So if you can surround yourself with people who love you, who pour into you, who give to you, when without saying that I need something back. Because these sisters are just women who love on me for who I am. They don't require anything for me to give back. But because I love them so much, I give it right back to them. I pour into them. I'm there for them. I pray over them. So if you can find that sister circle, that group of people that you can lead into, create a group chat with your closest friends so that way you guys can all just talk and lean and laugh and love on one another. That was a huge part of me coming out of this and coming out of it stronger. So, and even closer to those women. It's so important, you guys. But I'm about to finish getting my walk on and then this workout is done. We're gonna head home, make a protein shake, make breakfast so we can get this day going. All right, let's finish walking. Another thing that is that has helped me on this journey during that time was eating healthier. Instead, you know, I've gone through bouts of depression before and I would eat things that I felt made me feel better. Chips and fries and pizza and tacos. Like don't get me wrong, I love all those things still. But I think during this journey one of the things that I've learned is eating healthy 
it just sustains your body in a different way than eating junk food, high processed, high fat foods. It just, your body just feels better, you're better, you have more energy. So that's important to me. So right now we are going to make a protein shake. We are also going to make a little bit of breakfast. And I don't know what I'm making yet, but you guys will see that in a second. And while I'm doing that, I actually have a Zoom call. So every Saturday, um, I meet with an accountability group and we just discuss how our week went. We discuss our goals for the upcoming week. And then sometimes we just chat about life. We talk about what we're going through, things we're dealing with that can help us. Because each of us has a story that can possibly help the next person, a testimony that can help the next person. So it's important to have that group like call every Saturday. So that call starts at 8 o'clock. It is currently, I don't know if you guys can see that, it is 7.57. So I'm going to get everything ready to make my shake. And then like I said, I'm going to make breakfast and I'm going to do all of that uh, while I'm on the call with my accountability group because that's important. I love speaking with them, but I also know I need to get some nutrition in, especially after that workout. So let's make our shake and then let's make some breakfast. So I am back from the gym. Breakfast has been devoured and I got dressed for the day. So I just wanted to hop on here and also say that journaling has been a huge, a huge part of, I think, my healing process through throughout this time because I've been able to put down my thoughts, my dreams, my fears, the things that I felt guilty or ashamed about, the things that I felt unsure about. I could talk to God directly through my journaling. I could talk just, I could talk to myself, meaning I tried to do self-talk in a way that uplifted myself, that gave me, that gave me what I needed, that made me feel good about who I was and what I was doing in this, on this journey because it is so hard when you are dealing with depression to find the good in yourself. I feel like when you are going through depression, you can find every bad thing, everything that you feel like you haven't accomplished or you haven't done or you didn't do right, that sits with you for so long. And journaling, I found that I would write down the accomplishments. I'll be like, Janae, this week you did this. Or you talk to this person, you work through this issue, you like, you know, and I would see those things on paper and it would be like, okay, I, I did so much, even though I may have felt so bad. And it makes you realize that you are so much stronger than you realize. 
And you know, my grandmother said to me that everything you need is already within you. And that has stuck with me for years. And at some point, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a saying that has gone around and it's, she's not the one that said it. But when she said it to me, it meant something, you know, and it's one of the last things that I have a video of her saying and it means the world to me. And I know that it's true. And when I'm able to journal and write those things down, that's going on in my heart, in my mind. It's that reminder of how strong I am. It's that reminder that everything I need, everything I need is already within me. His spirit, God's spirit is already in me. The love that I have for people is already within me. My skills, my talent, it's already within me. Like everything you need is already within you. And sometimes journaling and finding those words, those moments to really put that down on paper reminds you of just who you are. So that has been another part of this journey that I've absolutely loved and has become a staple in my morning routine and has become a staple in just my day to day. And I'm not perfect at it. Um, some days I miss, some days I skip, but I always pick it back up. I always do. So yeah, journaling is so important to me. All right, beautiful people. I'm about to close out this vlog. I hope that you guys have enjoyed just me giving you tidbits into how I personally dealt with my depression and anxiety. And I know that depression and anxiety is really hard. It's something that we each have to find the thing that works for us. For some people, it's therapy. For some people, it's running. For some people, it's sitting on the beach and allowing the waves to carry away that heaviness. Like, you have to find what works for you. And these little things, these little tips that I gave you are what works for me. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of those things. Like, you know, from my fitness to eating healthy, to having this sister circle, to journaling. All these things are so important, a part of my journey. And I hope that you find those things that are important for your journey that can help you heal through the process. Because I am still healing. But I can tell you now, five months ago, I was not this person. I was not. I was hurt. I was hurting. And it took a lot to get through that. But all of these things helped me to get to where I am today. And I'm so grateful. And I really pray and hope that these tips, these little tidbits, just encourage you to find that thing that will work for you as well. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me along this journey today. I pray that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. Um, we are we are we are on a go. We are on a roll to 4,000 subscribers. I want to thank the 3,800 of you that are here now. It is a blessing. But definitely, definitely, you know, share this so we can get up there. So this can be shared with other people who are on their fitness journey, who may be struggling, who are working nine to fives and yet still trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle or trying to make it through depression or divorce or whatever it is. Because those are things that I've struggled with. Those are things that I've made it through and I am on the other side, or at least I'm walking to the other side now so thank you guys so much for just watching today i love you but y'all know what it is i will be back i'll see y'all in a minute bye